Hi there, my name is MJ Saperito and welcome to my Creatives in Progress video. For today's video, I will be talking about what I like to do as a creative and that is to video edit. And this scene sounds very broad, but what I like to do is I like to gather clips from my favorite TV shows or movies that I watch and I like to put them together and make an aesthetically pleasing video based on a character or a ship that I really like. It's very popular actually on Instagram and TikTok and what I mean by video edit my favorite characters is this. This is what I like to do. This is actually one of my edits that I've made and that I'm very proud of. Today I'm going to be showing how to use After Effects and how to make a transition because it can be very intimidating at first and I was very intimidated when I started using After Effects so I'm going to show you a simple transition that is actually easier than it seems. So let's go! Okay, so as you can see, I have already opened After Effects and I have two clips here within the working area. So next for a zoom transition, there's two ways you can do it. You can either use Transform, which is down here, and you use the scale. But I don't really like to do that because it doesn't make the edit as smooth as it could be. I use the other option, which is Blur Mode Curves. So I'm going to add, type that in here and slide it into my first clip. As you can see, there's a lot going on in here, but it's actually quite simple once you know which one is actually the option that you want to use for a certain transition. So now what you're going to want to do is there's only one thing you can do with a zoom in transition and you have to use the Z disk option here. So you're going to have to want to add a keyframe, which is to mark where the clip should start and where the clip is going to end. So I'm going to click the little stopwatch here. I want this transition to start quite a bit later in the clip. So I'm going to move it three quarters in. I'm going to add a keyframe and zoom in, which is making the numbers go lower as you can see on the side. In order for the transition to look smooth, we have to have graphs and to adjust the speed of those graphs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight my keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease, and it turns into these little hourglasses. Next, I'm gonna have to adjust the frames because the speed is gonna be too quick for me. I'm gonna go to the graph editor here, click on it, and right now it's on value graph, which is what I like to use. Speed graph makes it look a bit choppy. So you go to edit value graph. Next you click and then you move the bottom one up since it's gonna be on the right side because it's going moving to the right and then move this one towards. If you move the bottom one lower, it may slows it down and if you move it up, it goes faster. So it just depends on how quick and how slow you want the transition to move. And so I'm gonna click on the second clip and press I to go to the beginning of this clip and I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did on the first clip. So I already added blur mode curves and I added motion tile already so we are good to go. So next you're going to want to do the exact same thing. It's the exact same option and it's the exact same as adding keyframes in the first clip. So I'm going to click on the Z disk here, the little stopwatch, press U to see my keyframes and I'm going to zoom this out. So the bigger the number, the more zoomed out the clip is going to be, and the lower the number, the more zoomed in it's going to be. So I want it zoomed out. Then I'm going to move the scrubber just maybe to the middle of my clip about, and zoom it back in, which is one, which fills the whole frame. And then I'm going to highlight my keyframes, same thing, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and then graph editor. And then I'm going to move the graph lines to the left because what we did on the right, we do on the left. And you're done, basically. It should look like something like this. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on how to do a simple zoom transition. I probably didn't explain it the best that I could, but it's actually quite simple once you get to know the program. Also, make sure to go check out my other classmates' videos. They did an awesome job, and I can't wait to go watch the rest of them. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.